guys are fine and this in this video i will basically try to show you that uh, how you can make a grid tie inverter the circuit for this we will be using is a very simple circuit and uh, first let me tell you what is a grid tie inverter basically is a grid tie inverter is basically such a device that we will use to tie our own supply with the grid and we are providing the supply back to and we are providing the supply back to suppose Vavda or in case were the power the utility power of company so what we will do is that suppose we have a solar plate or a solar energy installed and we are taking power from the into our battery and then we want to make sure that the our battery and the incoming supply from the company have the phase same angle same voltages and same frequency so how this can is possible is basically we will use our incoming Wabda supply or the supply which is coming from that company in as our reference signal the device that I am using here is a Arduino UN you can use Arduino Mega Nano or any other control or a pick even a pick microcontroller and uh, all you have to do is just need this reference signal you need to provide that signal which is coming from the Wabda but we have to load this signal at plus minus 5 volt so that the Arduino can understand it here we are providing our reference signal Arduino will generate two PWMs at 9 and 10 ports and this PWM port will be passed through a AND gate just the purpose of this AND gate is only one thing is just to separate it separate these PWMs nothing no other function is being done just the just we want to make sure that no power is drawn from the Arduino only the signal is getting away and then we are using here to IR2012 or you can use IR2010 or you can also use a TLP250 driver depending upon your need this is a supply which is coming from your battery it is a plus 12 volt supply you can also pour it from your battery or you can also create a separate supply this is a diode which will make sure that this supply only goes forward not reverse wise this is a bootstrap capacitor and uh, these driver pulses are passed through a 10 or 11 ohm resistor and then it is given to the MOSFETs or IGBT juke on the circuits for both IGBTs and MOSFETs is available depending upon your need this is plus 12 volt or you can use plus 24 volt supply depend as depend upon the batteries installed so this is the same circuit as you can see it is a same circuit over here it's basically a copy of the circuits on the other side because we are here dealing it a positive sine wave and a negative sine wave a power one positive cycle and then the negative cycle so our main purpose here is to replicate our uh, sign signal with our original Vavda signal or you can say the signal which is coming from the utility power company and we are trying to replicate it with our own mm, solar supply inverter and we are trying to mix them together so that we can generate output that can be able to send back to the utility power power utility company so that we make some little profit of it or you can also make a hybrid grid try inverter which will use power from your inverter when the Wabda supply is not coming and if the Wabda supply is coming mean the both waves will mix up and the inverter frequency will be a little high in the most of suppose if you are using 10 kilowatt power 
so if uh, your inverter can provide a six to seven kilowatt power six to seven kilowatt power then the inverter will provide this seven six to seven kilowatt power and the rest three to four kilowatts will be drawn from your of the company or your utility power company supply this is the basically the theme or idea behind this inverter i have tried to make this as much simple as i can for you guys so let's run the simulation and see how this works it will take a little time for the calculation then it will show the results as here as you guys can see that this green one is our reference signal if i drop it like here this green signal is a reference signal and this pink one or you can say uh, lights it's a pink one not a red one but it's a pink one this pink one is basically your output signal as if i increase the time you can see that these both signals are 100 percent i say replicate of each other so they can be mixed up with each other as let me just to increase this wave so that see and if you look at the pwgm the pwgm is properly designed to replicate it as if you see the name this is the idea the thing that i build behind this is just to tell you that um, if the uh, supply from the company is disturbed or get um, or the voltage comes down then goes up then our inverter will also follow it see here this uh, here i add a potentiometer and if i decrease voltage you can see the output voltage will just follow him see let me drop them down so that i can show you the inverter job is just to follow them that's right if it goes up you can see the pwm will also follow him see here now let me put it down so that you can see guys that this PWM is exactly for that signal see here if I just increase that portion C the PWM is designed in such a way that it makes you signal a copy of it see here where as you can see at the peak the voltages the waveforms get much more angle so that it can create voltage and at the sides the waves are getting thin and this thing makes the capacitor and the inductor to lower the voltage to make up make sure that it's 
gets a proper sign wave. It's hundred percent working circuit, and the hardware is built, and was also tested. In my next video, I will try to show you how this thing exactly works on the hardware. An LCD will be attached to this circuit to see how much power is we are trying to um, get and uh, how much power is coming from the opda, how much power is coming from that utility company or how much power is we are producing and giving back it to opda or to our door. That is the basic thing behind this grid dynamic. Thank you guys for watching. Please if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you. You can contact me for files or I will also provide a link in the description or you can send a mail at tahmed45000 at the rate of sorry 45000 at the rate of gmail.com. Thank you.